In a recent interview with Revelation News, governance activist Choma Mwachikoka praised the Constituents Development Fund for driving significant development, particularly in rural areas. He emphasized that the CDF has brought much needed infrastructure and services to these communities. However, Mr. Machikoka highlighted a major concern among the beneficiaries, delays in project completion. He attributed these delays to governance issues, particularly the lengthy approval processes for CDF projects. In an exclusive interview, Mr. Machikoka shared his thoughts on how these issues can be addressed. It's really a game changer. We've seen that... Uh it has done massive changes, especially to rural communities mm -hmm. where there are schools. There are no schools we are seeing now, no schools, uh, clinics. But I think the cry of the people is that uh, these projects are delayed. Uh, so perhaps uh, they need to look at uh, the governance aspect of the CD. Those approval processes, they need to shorten them so that uh, these programs, you know, if, if, if CDF allocation for 2024, for instance, all projects, all programs have to be done in 2024. But we've seen a, a situation where some projects uh, that were uh, uh, allocated in 2022, they are now being completed in 2024. So look at the period, almost 24 months the project. So we need to look at uh, how, how we can ease up the administration part of the CDF. Those are people. Mr. Mwachikoka believes that by streamlining these processes, the Ministry of Local Government and Rural Development can ensure timely completion of projects, maximizing the positive impact of the CDF on rural communities. The Ministry has acknowledged this concern and is reportedly working on measures to enhance the efficiency and governance of the CDF. These improvements are expected to accelerate development projects and meet the urgent needs of rural communities more effectively. This is a crucial step towards ensuring that the benefits of the CDF are fully realized, improving quality of life for many Zambians. I'm Charity Chikwanda reporting.